All right, and some of the biggest totals I've seen thus far, Lake Toxaway in North Carolina, 13 inches, Boone had nine, but it's not done yet for them. For us, saturated ground, water, water everywhere. Two to three inches, most of us have seen. There's water on the roads. I've heard of some spin outs on 75 and 85 due to all that water. Also, the rivers and the creeks, they're high. There are some flood warnings due to that. And with that saturated ground and the very strong winds, the trees are vulnerable. And places north and east that had that little bit of ice coating on the roads, two tenths of an inch about, they are certainly vulnerable. And in places like Rabin County had four inches of snow, two tenths of an inch of ice. They have about 1600 in that small community without power. And maybe that just might be the beginning of some of the power troubles we see today. Flood watch, we've got that through this evening. Although the balance of the heaviest rain is over, we see a little bit more, maybe a trace, a tenth or so. But here's the big picture. Heaviest rain now has moved east. You can see that heading in towards South Carolina. Drier air moving in, mostly cloudy, dry day for the most part, but a cold and windy day. Area of low pressure is still here in western Te in western Tennessee that has yet to rotate through. So we're still in kind of that pocket ahead of that low. Could see some scattered showers today, not out of the question, maybe mixing with a little bit of sleet and even tomorrow as well. It's not until Tuesday morning we'll see the sunshine. All right, Gainesville, we had some rain and it all turned over to rain and now that has moved out north and eastward and even in places here farther north that we did see some ice in places like Hall and White and Dawson County now just becoming rain. So most of these temperatures for the most part are at 32 or above. This was the only 32 degree reading and this is what we're going to see throughout the day today. Mostly cloudy, dry skies, but we will see some scattered rain showers kind of still in the system, but it will be windy and cold. Temperatures will get to about 37 today, 38 for tonight. Could see some more rain showers and again tomorrow morning a bit of a break and then watch the rain potentially come back with some more showers tomorrow afternoon before it all finally clears out tomorrow night and then Tuesday morning we've got sunny skies to wake up to. Current wind speeds, we've had some really gusty winds. With 39 mile per hour wind gust, the strongest thus far at the airport, but it's gusting to 22. And again, that's why trees are vulnerable, power outages potentially because of that. Current wind chill, it's cold, feeling like 20s. It feels like 22 in Gainesville, feels like 25 here in the city. So for today, mostly cloudy, windy and cold, highs staying only in the 30s. Some scattered rain showers, again, not out of the question. And for tomorrow, dry morning and then potentially some more rain showers in the afternoon with a high of 43. Tuesday and Wednesday, we will see the sunshine with high temperatures below average. The average high this time of year is about 58. 50 on Tuesday, 52 on Wednesday with sunshine. And then we're back into some rain. It looks like late Tuesday night, Thursday night, and then into Friday with cloudy skies and rain showers and 53. Look at Tuesday. Yes, we'll love that day. Wednesday, the pick of the week. It'll be the sunniest and the warmest at 52, which is certainly not warm. But hey, compared to this, we'll look back pleasant. and say, remember the weekend? Man, we saw snow. <laughs> yeah, well, today will be nothing like yesterday. I mean, yesterday, Good. just a deluge of rain oh, all it was day, unbelievable. every moment. Yeah. Today, that's not the case. Okay, looking up and up. Sounds good. Okay.